This demo video will show you how to modify AX58200 firmware source and Twincat PLC source for EtherCAT 12-bit digital I.O. applications. We are going to use AX58200 ADIO demo kit for the demonstrations in this tutorial. Please visit a 6 YouTube channel to see the build up AX58200 EtherCAT Slave SOC ADIO demo kit BSP in 18 minutes video for details about how to build up AX58200 ADIO demo kit development environment. The AX58200 ADIO demo kit supports 8-bit digital input demo by using one 8-bit DIP switch and 8-bit digital output demo by using 8 LEDs. AX58200 supports up to 56 GPIO pins. Designers can implement the unused GPIO pins for I.O. control purpose. This is an example by Modify AX58200 firmware source to control AX58200 GPIO pins for EtherCAT 8-bit digital I.O. applications. The following demonstrations will show you how to modify AX58200 ADIO demo kit firmware source for EtherCAT 12-bit digital I.O. applications. The first step Designers should modify AX58200 SSC application definition file to support 12-bit digital I.O. applications. Designers can refer to Section 10 CIA402 Drive Profile and Section 13 OD Tool of Beckhoff Application Note ET9300, EtherCAT Slave Stack Code, for more information. Please see below demonstration for details. Please continue to see the second demonstration about how to create AX58200 firmware SSC source and ESI file. For clean source environment, we would suggest to remove the existing source files and ESI file before starting creating the new source files. The third demonstration will show you how to modify AX58200 firmware source for 12-bit digital I.O. applications.
Firstly, modify the SYS underscore init routine in main.c file to add new GPIO pins mask. And then modify digital IO setup routine to define input or output mode for new GPIO pins, and modify digital IO handler routine to define the mapping GPIO pins of all digital input and output pins. Secondary, modify the app underscore input mapping and app underscore output mapping routines in AX58200 underscore gpioaio.c file to support 12-bit digital input and output data. Please see below demonstration for details. The fourth demonstration will show you how to build AX58200 firmware SSC source. The fifth demonstration will show you how to program AX58200 firmware code onto AX58200 flash memory.
The following demonstrations will show you how to modify AX58200 TwinCat PLC source for EtherCat 12-bit digital I.O. applications. The first step demonstration will show you how to create TwinCat project and update AX58200 EEPROM Viaduct new ESI file. Please copy the new ESI file into the TwinCat ESI file default folder firstly before starting this step. The secondary step demonstration will show you how to add AX58200 ADIO Demo Kit TwinCat PLC source into TwinCat project. The third step demonstration will show you how to modify AX58200 TwinCat PLC source files for 12-bit digital I.O. applications. Modify the main.tcpou file to add new variables for TwinCat PLC 12-bit digital input and output demonstration. Define the default settings of those new variables in the main.tcpou file. Add the digital input process handler for EtherCAT 12-bit digital input. And add the digital output process handler for EtherCAT 12-bit digital output. Designers also need to modify TwinCat PLC visualization.tcvis to support EtherCat 12-bit digital input and output GUI. Please see below demonstration for details.
The fourth step demonstration will show you how to build AX58200 Twincat PLC source files. The last step demonstration will show you how to run the AX58200 Twincat PLC 12-bit digital input and output demonstrations. ASIX Electronics has outstanding engineering teams to provide customers the professional and timely technical services. Please contact ASIX Sales for more information. Thanks for watching ASIX video.